This, uh, his family said he simply vanished. Tonight, what a national security expert has to say about this Palo Verde engineer's disappearance. And it's big but first, the search goes on for a missing engineer from the Palo Verde nuclear power plant. Now, we are still asking if his security clearance at the country's largest nuclear facility had anything to do with his disappearance. Neil Hardy went missing Saturday night. CBS 5's Donna Rossi has the very latest now. And the more time that passes, the more worrisome. Four days now have passed with no sign of Neil Hardy. His wife told us yesterday how he just seemed to vanish from their Glendale home Saturday night. At this point, we just are, we don't know what to think. Many wonder if Hardy's job and security clearance at Palo Verde Nuclear Generating Station plays into his disappearance. Security consultant Tim Ziering says that's highly unlikely. I don't think that this person was kidnapped because of any information that he might be able to garner from Palo Verde. Palo Verde deactivated Hardy's ID badge and his access to plant computers. They are cooperating with police, but insist Hardy's disappearance has nothing to do with his job. Law enforcement and Palo Verdes are both doing things behind the scenes that they're not going to talk about. The case is being handled as a simple missing persons case by Glendale Police. In fact, CBS 5 News has confirmed that state anti-terrorism agents or any federal security agencies has not been made aware of Hardy's disappearance. Should somebody at a higher level, maybe National Homeland Security, be alerted that this guy is missing? If they perceive that somehow somebody would be able to access very sensitive information through him, then I would imagine they would escalate the investigation. Hardy's wife tells us that there has been no credit card or cell phone activity since his disappearance. She doesn't have access to his work phone records, and those that do will not tell us if they reveal anything. Kent? 